I'll do a box opening today on a new Cisco Linksys wireless router. It's a N600 model, capacity group B. I'm gonna see if I can configure this on a Windows 8 laptop, hopefully so. He said I could. And we're gonna get Time Warner Roadrunner at the family vacation home. And stay, instead of paying $12 a month for their router, that they provide, may as well get our own and have it configured the way we want. So let's do a box opening and see what this looks like and get it configured. Alright, this is what it looks like when you open the box and get the cellophane off of it. Let's go ahead and take this protection off this router and see what this looks like under here. Okay, this is what you get with this. Of course you get the Cisco Linksys E2500 router. Get an Ethernet cable, you get a startup CD with easy to follow instructions, I'm sure. Should be pretty easy to set up, and of course, a power cable. This has four Ethernet ports, and of course, one for the internet as well, and a power connection. Let's read the instructions here and see if we can get this uh, set up. I brought the laptop in closer to where my actual modem is because I got to pretty sure connect this Cisco directly up to that. So we're going to put the CD in and get this spun up. I pulled up some additional directions here on the E2500. So let's get the setup disk going and step me through configuring this. What's oh, a loud CD in this laptop here? So the way this works, you just go to where the setup is right from the DVD, or CD, and here's my Linksys, see what happens here. Okay, got to lower your up again. Set the license on this, next. Checking for the latest software, okay. So we got a power up actual router and then connect one end of the included blue cable to the yellow internet port on the back of the router so it doesn't look like anything connects to the laptop so we'll make that router connection here and should be able to connect to it wireless so let me do that and we'll go back to this step so I just use my cable directly from my modem which is gray in color I hope this won't be a problem not using the blue cable I would not think so and got the power on So that's connected, so let's go to the next step here. Okay, it says it's setting up your Linksys 2500. All right, now it, uh, it's gotten through the part where it links this router settings. Your router name, also known as SSID, and password are shown below. You can use these or change one or both of them. So I'm going to go ahead and change the router name and password here and get back to this step. Okay, I've made my pass user ID and password change here. And we're now setting up your Linksys E2500, configuring network settings. We're now connecting to your Linksys E2500. CD spinning back up, finishing setup. We're at 95%. And it's zooming here. Alright, so you're not you're now connected to your router, but we can't determine if you're connected to the internet. You may need to restart your modem. Okay, so let's check that, see if we can get connected to the internet here. Okay, so what I did is unplugged uh, the power cable to my modem. And now we're gonna try. I've connected to this 
new ID I've had, so we're just going to try to go to the internet here. And this is uh, the forum here. Let's try to go to something else. Let's just go to Google, see where that takes me. Wow, it looks like the internet is working, so it looks like this new Cisco router is connected. Let's try a few other things here. Let's go to CNN.com. And we're alive. Now that is about as easy as you can get. But the one thing you do have to do is to, uh, looks like, unplug your modem and let it reset so it can see the new Cisco router. So we'll try a couple other devices around the house here. Looks like we're all set. Pretty easy. And it also says congratulations you're now connected to the internet. Do a continue here. Oh here we go. Got some various kind of controls here. Router settings, computer and devices, so this is how you can monitor what's out there. So this is pretty easy. It's looking uh, very good here. We just tried our iPad on here as well so we can connect up. I think we're all set.